the IT department in your ministry, in your public sector organization, should not be there just to fix computers and communication lines anymore. You have to have an IT department that is a pioneer in understanding technological advances and in coming up with intelligent, smart, effective, creative, innovative ways to integrate technology, the most advanced technology, into the way that you exercise uh, your, you provide services to your constituency, to your, to your, to your citizens. So whatever it is that you're doing, regardless of the nature of what you're doing, technology now is not, is a disruptor even in some cases. So you need to be a master of this uh, domain in the sense that you understand it, you're fully up to date, and you're absolutely brilliant at in incorporating it and integrating it into the way you're providing your community and your constituency with services. So it's not a classical way of using technology. Technology now is a major enabler and in many cases a disruptor. And if you're not if you're not in touch with what's happening in technology, artificial intelligence, logarithms, you know, the way you use data uh, and the way you distribute data, the way you integrate this into the media, social media, digitalization, you know, uh, using different kind of platform, uh, the way you uh, customize things, personalize your services, then you'll be out of touch. So technology is an important aspect. This old aspect of you keep all the knowledge for yourself, this is, this is so old fashioned and so, 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 dis so destructive. Because number one, it's not your knowledge. This is not your organization. This is not a privately held organization. This, is, this belongs to the people. This, is, this belongs to the government. So wherever you know, the more, the, um, the more wherever you know, you have to be very intelligent in passing on the information. There's, there has to be a continuous process of transferring knowledge you have to transfer knowledge so that people around you know what's happening and not only knowledge you have to know how to cultivate skills especially when it comes to leadership because you need to create new leaders who are informed so that you use your own department your own ministry as an incubator for leadership that can cultivate leaders and send them to other ministries people who work in the public sector usually stay in the public sector Sometimes they go to the private sector, but most often they stay in the public domain. So when you are transferring knowledge, when you are building leadership capacities of people around you, right? when you're cultivating leaders, you've, made, you've just made your, your department, your ministry, whatever department or government organization you're running, into an incubator, into sort of an academy of leadership that will, that will send in the future that will transform this knowledge these kinds of leaderships right into where to other administrations so you have to have holistic thinking that when you're doing your job as a ceo or a minister or a prime minister you're you're not you're, you're not just doing it for the for the present time but you're doing it for in the for the future by cultivating leaders that will go across the entire public sector of the country you lead per, by purpose and you know there's so much literature about purpose-driven leadership in the private sector but there's nothing more um, comprehensible and obvious than purpose-driven leadership in the public sector like what could be the purpose of a health ministry right what could be the purpose rather than improve the quality of life of the population of your country through improving the quality of health services what could be, you know, a more obvious purpose than for the uh, Ministry of Education than to improve the quality of life in the country by improving the quality of education? What could be a more, a clearer uh, sense of purpose for a media organization that belongs to the public domain than to inform the public, than to educate the public, than to entertain the public, than to spread and establish the values that you know the country is built upon right the the values that hold the main strengths of the culture of the country so all of these are clear purposes when it comes to the public uh, sector uh, domain and when you exercise leadership as a leader in the public domain you have to keep this in mind and use purpose as a main leadership tool so that you can mobilize your people so that you can mobilize them